Are you moving to the Atlanta area and you're looking for a neighborhood that exudes a luxury lifestyle? I'm talking really well manicured lawns, big mansion homes, and lots of shopping, restaurants, nightlife. Well, then you have to consider the neighborhood of Buckhead. And I'm gonna show you around the, the area. It's a really big area to cover, but I'm gonna get as much as I can in today. So let's talk all about living in Buckhead right now. Hey guys, my name is Molly and welcome to my channel. If you are new here or returning and have not subscribed to my channel, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, give me a like, and if you wanna be one of the first to be notified when I do post a new video about another neighborhood, make sure to hit that bell too. But welcome to my channel. I am your walking, talking tour guide of everything here in the Atlanta area. So whether you're moving from out of state or maybe just from the suburbs and you wanna know some neighborhoods in Atlanta to look at, to find one that matches your lifestyle and your budget. Well, I'm your gal. I really just enjoy showing you different places that could be a good fit for you and hopefully make your move to Atlanta a little bit easier. So as you're going through my videos, if you ever have questions, put them in that comments box below, or you can always shoot me a text, give me a call, send me an email. I'd love to hear from you and see how I can help you out. But you guys, I am in Buckhead today and you can see this big building behind me. This is called the Swan House. It's right next to the Atlanta History Museum. I don't know if you're fans of the Hunger Games, but this might be recognizable. This was one of the scenes that they shot. This was Doc, or not Dr. Snow, Mr. Snow's house and they did a party scene here. Anyway, that's where it was shot. But. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you around Buckhead. Now, Buckhead is a really, really big area. I'm gonna put up a map so you can just see how big this area is. It really is the Northern Atlanta area, north of 85, 75. It does go a little south of 75, but it's a huge expansive area. And Buckhead is really just an area and it's made up of over 40 different neighborhoods. So I can't cover those all in one video, but I'm just gonna kind of show you some of the highlights give you an, a flavor of what you can expect in Buckhead. So if you live in Buckhead and you're wondering how long does it take to get to other parts of the city, well, Midtown is roughly 15 minutes, downtown I'd say 18 minutes. If you wanna to get to the airport, you're looking at about 30 minutes. And if you work over at the Emory area, then that's about a 25, 20, 25 minute ride. If you've done any research of Atlanta, you've probably heard of Buckhead because it is the affluent area where you're gonna find all the mansions, um, really high-end shopping, lots of restaurants. So I'm gonna go show you all of that in just a little bit, but I wanted to cover a few basics before I go over to the shops because it's gonna get a little noisy over there. In the Buckhead area, no, I'd say on average, I looked up the median sales price in the last six months and it was just over a million twenty-six thousand for a single family home. Now. A townhome, that's at 545,000, and a condo is at 315,000. But don't be fooled, the price ranges can go way high. In fact, uh, in the last six months, the highest single family home price that sold was um, 9.3 million. And if I rewound just a little bit further, there was a record breaking sale of 18.1 million. That was in the Tuxedo Park neighborhood. So. As you can see, there is quite a range in home prices, but Buckhead is known for their big expansive lots that you can get, you know, anywhere from one to three acres. So if you're looking for some acreage, there are some neighborhoods in Buckhead that has exactly that, but you'll definitely pay for it. Just wanting to buy a piece of land, like a lot, those can start in the 900K range and go up from there. So it's, it's definitely expensive. And then like, you know, townhomes, I uh, said the median sales price is 545,000, but the highest price that I've seen that was sold in the last six months was 3.2 million. So there's definitely a range there. And also with condos, you know, Buckhead has a lot of high rise condos. I would say Midtown has more high rise condos, but Buckhead definitely has a lot of high rise condos too. A lot of luxury condos um, and the price point for condos can go up to the 1.7, 1.2 million dollar range and even higher than that, believe it or not. So and that gives you kind of an idea of um, the price ranges. And you know, there are definitely those neighborhoods that are super expensive, like Tuxedo Park is probably the most prestigious neighborhood. 
Mount Perrin Northside there you can get like a bigger piece of land. Chastain Park is really nice. That's a little bit more affordable and it's right by a beautiful park. We'll try to hit up um, the Chastain Park area. Um, the Brandon area is another uh, nice area. Um, but there are some other neighborhoods sprinkled in Buckhead that aren't quite that drastic in price point. Peachtree Hills, Garden Hills, I love those areas. There you can find something in more of the you know, starting in the eights to, you know, it goes up to two million, you know, plus, but you can find something more in the million dollar range, Collier Hills, Memorial Park, Spring Lake. So there are definitely some other options. So I'm going to show you a couple of examples as we go about, but um, yeah, so that is kind of the housing side. And there are also in terms of schools, there's a lot of great elementary public schools. So for example, there is the Jackson Elementary School, Sarah Smith Elementary School, Rivers, Brandon Morse Brandon Elementary School, there's Garden Hills too. So there's some really good, highly rated elementary schools. And then they all feed into the Sutton Middle School and then into the North Atlanta High School cluster. But there's also tons and tons of private, okay, we got a truck coming through with an old car. Um, there's also a lot of private schools as well. I'll have to show you this car when it's coming through. It's kind of cool. So um, let me hold that thought, but just check this out. <laughs> Maybe they're going to be shooting another scene for a movie or something. I don't know. You know, Atlanta, they do a lot of filming here. If you didn't know that, they film a lot of movies because we get tax breaks here. So a lot of Hollywood comes to Atlanta. Um, but where was I? Private schools, yes. So there's tons of private schools if you want to go that route. Um, and I would say the most prestigious ones is Westminster and the Lovett schools. But there's also, um, I know I have a lot of friends that go to Christ the King, with the, which is a Catholic school, school, excuse me, the Galloway School, Atlanta International School. So um, there's just a variety of private options as well. All right, I'm going to stop talking and just go start showing you some things and the highlights of Buckhead. Yeah, it's impossible to show it all to you, but I'm going to hit some of the, the big points. And the first one I'm going to do is obviously the shopping because everyone comes to Buckhead to do shopping or go to restaurants and that kind of thing. So I'm going to go over to Buckhead Village. It's just along Peachtree Street. So let's go take a look. <music> It's a bit of a breezy day here in Atlanta, so I got my Beyonce hair going on. So I'm in Buckhead Village. It's approximately between Peachtree Road and Far Road, so it's just full of restaurants, shopping, and right across the street here is the shops at Buckhead. It's like Rodeo Drive, and a lot of people will call the Buckhead Village basically the Beverly Hills of Atlanta. So we'll go check this out. This is really high-end shopping, but there's also some great restaurants in here. I'm standing right outside King and Duke, which is really, really good. And you got some office buildings back here. Whoops, my hair's going crazy. So, um, but you'll also run into a lot of condo buildings. Um, as far as, you know, is this walkable? You know, if you live in a condo building, I'd say it's fairly walkable. But if you live in a single family home anywhere around here, you're probably going to be driving. But there's usually parking decks you can park at. I'd say that's your, probably your best bet. And there's a few parking lots too, but let's go check out the shops at Bucket. wondering what this gigantic building is behind me it's a restoration hardware store it's massive inside so I'm right outside the Buckhead Theater and they'll do like smaller music venues here kind of a cool place and it's just off of Peachtree Road so that's Peachtree Road and if we kept going that way there's a bunch of more little shops there's a Trader Joe's there's a Whole Foods back this way 
and then if you keep going a little further you're going to hit the mall so Linux mall and Phipps Plaza which is a more higher end mall um, but I'm going to show you a few more boutique shops that you can find along if you go a little further north off of Pacey's Ferry. I'm making my way to one of my favorite little shops in the Buckhead area and as I'm walking there, you know, you'll just see more shops and restaurants this way, shops this way. And that's one thing, like there's shops everywhere along Peachtree Road and a couple of blocks north or south of Peachtree Road. In fact, there's over like 1,500 retail stores in the Buckhead area and they bring in about 3.6 billion in retail sales annually. So a lot of shopping going on, right? And in case you're wondering where Buckhead got its name, I'll just give you a short little history lesson for today. So there was a guy named Irby, like in the late 1800s, staked his claim to some land here in the Buckhead area and making sure I don't get run over. So he opened up a grocery store and a tavern. And I guess one day he went out hunting, shot a buck. He put that buck's head on a stick and put it outside one of his stores. So then people just started saying, hey, let's meet up at the buck's head. So there you go, that's how Buckhead apparently got its name. One shop you should definitely check out is Lucy's Market. They have a fun a range of food, decorations, little gifts. So this is one to check out. It's just north of the Buckhead Village area. Okay, so I'm standing outside the Linux Mall, and did you know that this mall is actually the largest mall in the Southeast? And Caddy Core from Linux Mall, if you go this way, you're gonna hit Phipps Mall, and that's just a little bit more upscale mall um, with a little bit more upscale, upscale stores, but um, they also have a really good Santa Claus during the Christmas season, so yeah, if you're not finding what you want at Linux Mall, go to the Phipps Mall, that's where the Nordstrom is at, and then you know Linux Mall is gonna have all of your basic stores, your Gap, your loft um uh what else you know the basic mall stuff but um pretty nice mall now i will say there has been some violence that's been happening in buckhead and there has been some issues here at the mall um so you're going to see a little bit a little bit bigger police presence here and that is one thing you know with the increased violence that's been happening in buckhead it's really just after like covid i think um there's been a lot of people in the Buckhead area that have wanted to secede from the city of Atlanta and create their own city. Now that's been a big debate. It's been put on hold. I don't know what's gonna happen with it, um, but I am not really going to argue one way or another in this video, but it is something that is going on. So if you're looking for a walking, jogging, biking path, then one place in Buckhead that you can find that is Path 400. It runs right along Highway 400, you can see the cars I think through these trees so this is a busy highway there are parts where there's a sound wall but this will go all the way south down to about I-85 it's about a just over a five mile path I don't think it's all completed yet but um, this is definitely a great option if you want something that's outside of the traffic and crosswalks and stoplights path 400 is the way to go If you're looking for condo options, there are a ton of condos, high rises all along Peachtree Road, anywhere from Peachtree and Lennox Road, going all the way down almost into Midtown. And this is just one example of a condo building. And I would say the age range, I mean, you're gonna get millennials in condos and you're gonna have some older generations that just want easy living. And this is a great um, option for kind of the older generation too. And so another thing I'll point out about Peachtree Road is if you are a runner, you have to do this one time, just a one time, um, but participate in the Peachtree Road race. It's on 
one of the hottest days of the year, July 4th. It's really fun. It's 60,000 runners. They start at Linux Mall. You can take um, the MARTA bus line, drop you off right there at Linux Mall. And then you just run down Peachtree Road all the way into Midtown, hang a left on 10th Street and finish at Piedmont Park. It's a lot of fun. I've only done it a couple of times. I don't do it every year. I don't know why, but there are some people that are religious about it and do it every year for the past 25 years. And you get a t-shirt and everyone talks about that, but it's tons of fun. So if you're a runner or a walker, just, just do it one time, believe me, it's fun. Perhaps one of my favorite neighborhoods, well, one of the top three, I would say, neighborhoods in the Buckhead area would be Chastain Park. And I'm standing in it right now. This is the Chastain Park golf course. And the Chastain Park is Everyone claims it's Atlanta's biggest park, but it's actually not anymore. The West Side Park that has opened up on the West Side is actually a little bit bigger. This one's 268 acres and the West Side Park, I believe is 280 acres. So, um, but this is, if you want to do a jog around this park, it's about a three mile loop. So this is a great place to walk, jog, ride your bike, roller skate. So you're going to see people walking around here all the time. and. I just love driving around this park. There's a lot of beautiful homes in here, very serene. And this park has a ton of amenities. So there's a pool, there's a horse barn. So if you want to do horse lessons, riding lessons, you could do that. There's baseball fields, tennis courts, soccer fields, and the cutest little playground. I love taking my kids there. So lots of things to do here. Plus there's the Chastain Park Amphitheater. So they'll have like big headliners come and do a concert. It's an open aired amphitheater, really cool. So yeah, Chastain Park is just beautiful and it's not too far from all of the shops of Buckhead. And there's a lot of dining options off of Roswell Road. So you're not too far from some restaurants and uh, nightlife. is looking more and more lovely as the day goes on. Okay, so I wanna show you an example of one of the higher end homes in some of these higher end neighborhoods. But one thing I wanna point out before I do that is just notice like, this is what you're gonna find in a lot of these areas. It's kind of a sidewalk. There's really nowhere to park along the side. This is the only sidewalk that there is right here, but um, a lot of times there won't be a sidewalk. And I think it's all just for the exclusivity and so you don't get a bunch of lurkers like me trying to take videos but so this home is a new build this is six bedrooms six baths two half baths over 6,500 square feet it's on 1.3 acres of land it's brand new like I said it has like an in-law suite over the garage it has all of your um, high-end finishes it has a pool it has an unfinished basement so you could also finish that off for more square footage but yeah, you're going you're gonna to find here in some of these higher end bucket neighborhoods, you're going to get a lot of square or acreage, anywhere from one to three acres. You pay for it, but um, you get a lot of privacy and there's a lot of hilly areas around here and wooded. Like you wouldn't expect it to be so woodsy, but it definitely is. And especially if you want some privacy, there's definitely some neighborhoods in Buckhead that give you full on privacy. All right, so I'm gonna take you on a short drive through some of these higher end, well, the highest end neighborhoods. So you just gotta feel for these areas. Now, you're gonna notice that a lot of these homes are set way back on the lots. You may not even be able to see them, so we'll see how much I can actually capture on footage, but check out this cool house. Yeah, so these are gonna be your multi-million dollar homes, very exclusive, very private, and there's no sidewalks to walk on and a very beautiful, serene area. And you'll notice that all the homes are spaced out too, which is something you're not gonna get in the in-town areas of Atlanta. <laughs> but anyway, sit back, enjoy the ride.
Okay, I'm gonna do a complete 180 shift from where we were just at, driving through those beautiful neighborhoods in the Northwest area of Buckhead. So you may be thinking to yourself, man, I just can't afford Buckhead, it's too expensive. And yeah, the meat, the average in household income in the Buckhead area is like 156,000, but that doesn't mean you can't afford something here. You could get a, like a townhome option and the average townhome, I think I mentioned that was in the 500s. Now these townhomes, now they are a little older, but some of them have been renovated really nice and they're kind of cute. They're not kind of, they are cute inside and you get a pretty good square footage anywhere from 1700 to 1900 square feet. There's two bedroom and three bedroom townhomes. And these range anywhere from the low to mid 300s to the close, it's close to 400K range. So, and these are not too far from some restaurants and you're not too far from Chastain Park. You'd still wanna probably hop in your car and drive over there. And you're probably two miles, maybe a mile and a half from all of the Buckhead shop so there are some cheaper options than you know having to own a million dollar home in the Buckhead area and if you're wanting to rent first you know there are some lots of rental options and lots lots of um, apartment complexes through the Buckhead area as well and I believe the average rental price right now is 1700 so there's options for everyone out there but anyway I wanted to show you just an example of something that's a little bit more affordable So if you're wondering if the Beltline goes through Buckhead, well it does, but it's the very small portion of Buckhead, the very southern tip of Buckhead. So this is Ardmore Park behind me, a cute little park. We're really close to Piedmont Hospital. This is part of what they call the Beltline Northside Trail. There's just a small section of it done, but it's a really beautiful area to run or walk around. And there's like some cool tunnels. This part is closed right now. I think they're working on some drainage. So. Um, but yeah, so this kind of brushes up through the very southern section of Buckhead through Brookwood, and then it goes over to Peachtree Hills, then back down to Piedmont Park. Um, so if you're living in the northern section of Buckhead, yeah, you're not going to hit the Beltline at all, but there is just this very small portion, beautiful area, and then it's not too far from Bobby Jones Golf Course as well. Now there's some neighborhoods south of the Buckhead area that are more like your typical average price point, probably around the 1 million mark. And I wanna show you an example of a home and this one's over in Memorial Park. This is just a cute area. In fact, the Memorial Park playground is right behind me. It's a nice place to take your kids. There's a little creek over there. I love taking my kids to this park. But here's a home that recently sold. This one, it's right here up on this hill. Now this was a four bedroom, four bath, just over 3,400 square feet. It sold for roughly 1.179 million. Now the kitchen is open to the living room. There's an extra bonus room upstairs. Um, there is some tile I think that could be updated, but the location you can't be beat because you are right by the park area. And I would say along those lines of Memorial Park, there's also um, Spring Lake, Collier Hills, Wildwood, all those areas, they all kind of have the same feel. I'll take you for a little spin around these areas, but you're gonna find smaller homes, but a pretty good sized lot. And they'll be anywhere in, I would say the, 800 range to it can go up to 2 million but um, you get a little bit more of a variety but I'm just going to show you real quick this park I won't get too close there's a, a bunch of kids playing there but if I walked a little further I'm going to hit Bobby Jones golf course there's the tennis center there and you're going to see people walking around the golf course there's a nice walking trail there too so um, this is just a nice sweet area and it's really close access to I-75 so you can get over to downtown midtown pretty quickly from there but here is the park okay so i want to show you one of the southern buckhead neighborhoods this is spring lake that i'm in and 
The combs over here are just adorable. I mean, look at this one. It's so magical. I just love it. These lots are gonna be a lot closer together. The homes are gonna be smaller, but I would say anywhere the price range is gonna be in, you might be able to get something in the 800K range. It'd be smaller, but anywhere in the 800 to, you know, it's gonna go up into the million dollar range or, you know, up to the $2 million range for a larger home. But I'm just gonna give you a quick drive around this neighborhood because it's so sweet and um, really close access to I-75, right by Memorial Park. So let's go check it out. All right, I wanted to give you a little closer look at the Bobby Jones Golf Course. It's right off of Northside Drive. It's in the southern edge of Buckhead, but here you go. This is a driving range, so not much going on here, but if you go a little further down, that's where you're gonna get into the main course, but you get some great views of Buckhead this way, and then Piedmont Hospital is that building right there. If you can see it, that's Piedmont Hospital, but um, this is a nice walking, jogging track. track it goes around the the golf course and i actually ran a 10 mile race and i remember it came down Northside drive and it was miserable Northside drive is long rolling hills that never seem to end so yeah that race sticks with me to this day and i ran that race probably eight years ago so um, but this is a beautiful area to walk around just to get some exercise and obviously if you like golfing this is a great course to hit up Okay, for my final stop, I wanted to show you, these are kind of my favorite neighborhoods. I don't know why I think I just like the location of them. So like Peachtree Hills, Peachtree Heights, Garden Hills, they're all right between um, Peachtree Road and Piedmont Road. And they're just south of like the Buckhead Village shopping area. So really close access to all the shopping, but you get these sweet, quiet streets. So um, you can kind of live by it all, but you don't have to hear all the noise. So I want to show you one home example. Now in these neighborhoods, you're going to get price ranges anywhere from, you know, the 800s up to the $2 million mark, just depending on what the home is and where it's at. Um, but here is an example of a bungalow. So this sold for 850,000. So um, definitely on the lower end of home examples that we've seen today, but it's right here. And this was a four bedroom, three and a half bath, just over 2,800 square feet. It was a typical bungalow, lay bungalow layout. You know, you got your living room, kitchen, um, the primary bedroom had vaulted ceilings. Now the backyard was pretty small, but you know, so check out, so we have that bungalow there and then check out this modern right behind me, right? So you do get a mix in this area, but it's just a sweet, 
quiet area and Peachtree Heights has this duck pond which is really serene nice to walk to I wouldn't say there's anything you can really walk to in these neighborhoods but uh, they are a nice you know just neighborly walk Garden Hills has a public pool I like taking my kids there they've got a nice public pool with um, playground equipment but that is it that is all of my examples of Buckhead living you know there's no way I could entirely cover everything in this video but I hope you got kind of a feel for the area and if you're kind of still confused of what's up from what's down stay tuned because I'm going to do a map tour on my next video that I drop and I'll kind of show you with some of the main roads some of these different locations that I was talking about um, so stay tuned for that but you guys thank you for joining me today until next time if you have questions comments put them in that box below feel free to shoot me a text give me a call send me an email whether you're looking to move tomorrow or next year I'm here to help you out so don't hesitate to reach out and now you guys I am going to go crash on the couch I wore the wrong shoes today and I did a lot of walking for you so hope you enjoyed it I'll see you around the neighborhood bye